friends, I am Hemendra and welcome to my channel AppliedAndroid.com. In this video, I am going to talk about what is a REST API. If you are an Android developer or a web developer, you might be familiar with this term REST API. So in order to understand what is a REST API, you need to know the difference between static applications and dynamic application. So static applications are the ones whose content will be fixed and content will not change like calculator and a sound recorder application. But if you take some applications like YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, there is a requirement of continuously changing the data. Every time you open the Facebook or YouTube application, the data will be different. And in case of YouTube application, you can browse millions of videos, you can search millions of videos and you can watch millions of videos from the YouTube. And if you take some applications like weather forecasting applications, uh, the weather details in that application has to update based on the climatic conditions and you can be able to uh, search the, the, the climatic conditions uh, in different parts of the world. For example, you want to see uh, the climatic conditions of London or if you want to see the climatic conditions of America, then uh, the application will be able to display uh, the details. So how this application is getting this data? So from where this application is getting this data and how every time you open the application the data is changing and based on the climatic conditions how the weather application is able to update the information. So this is where the concept of REST API comes into the picture. Uh, the weather application will request for the data from the server and the server will send the data back to the client. That is the weather application and the weather application will display this data which it got from the server to the user. So for requesting a data to the server, the client needs an API. So using this API, uh, the client will make request to the server and server will uh, send the response uh, using this API to the client. So the REST API is nothing but a mediator that is responsible for establishing the connection between server and the client. So this entire process of uh, requesting the server and getting the data back to the client is called web service. So we are having two types of web services that is SOAP web service and REST web service. So if you make this API using the REST standards, that is the architecture, REST architecture, then it will become a RESTful web service or a REST API. Or if you make uh, this API using uh, the SOAP architecture, then it will become a SOAP web service. So uh, this REST API is completely developed on the HTTP protocol. The full form of this REST API is representational state transfer. So I'll, I'll explain the difference between the SOAP architecture and the REST architecture and I'll explain more details about the REST API in my next video. So thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to my channel and subscribe my channel.